Alrighty guys, that camera one's finished. So, off to the next one. I think I'm gonna try to squeeze in a kitchen sink in Nashua in between going down to Mass, because I got two in Mass, so I gotta go to Tewksbury, and I gotta go to Averill. So, wish me luck on my adventures for the day. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks. Cleaning out a bunch of stuff in anticipation of emptying out the cabinets for the kitchen rebuild. Yeah. And dumped a bunch of stuff down the drain. Down the garbage disposal? Yeah, down the garbage disposal. Alrighty, what did you dump down there? Uh, some couscous, some salad dressing, some various powdered mixes. Okay. Uh, is your basement finished? No. All right, can we take a peek down there? I want to see exactly where the everything line else goes is to. Everything else is running through fine. Okay, yeah, I just want to see where the kitchen mm -hmm. sink goes so that way there I know how far of a run it is. Right. And go from there. Let's see what we got. Are you excited? Yes. It's been a long time coming. Okay. 
get some stuff. Down. I'm going to remodel in their kitchen. And then I'll go out and get the machine. I couldn't get this nut off here, so. I just want to go through the trap. I'm going to get that off. That would be ideal. Get this off. But, couldn't get it off, so we're going to go through the trap. Nothing came out the other side, so it's just gonna be on this trap right here. And this is why you don't dump couscous in your drain. What we do here is go back, back, right back, 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 Outside, jam something through it. Let the birds eat it. Head down to mass. We got a lot to do today. And I break the thing. Cause I break the phone. Sorry, guys. You'll get used to it. I promise. your pipes because it's going to expand when you hit, hit it with water so that's what we got a bunch of goose goose all right let me clean this up get the bug off me clean this up then we'll uh get back in there and put it back together and test it again 
think I'm just gonna flush the bucket that I have under the sink. And probably whatever's in the, uh, probably whatever's in the, uh,
show you once I'm done that uh, it's, it's 100% draining. I'll fill it back up for you. Mm -hmm. That's how we test it. We like to fill it up a lot and then, yep. and then drain it down. Right. So this is actually in the trap and then, silly me, I forgot to check the elbow just after the trap. Mm -hmm. And it was all right there. It was kind of a mix between both both places. The trap and this 90 right after. Mm -hmm. so when you remodel your sink, you're gonna keep your garbage disposal. Can I yeah, make a is suggestion? That, is it still in pretty good shape? It is. Can okay. I just make a suggestion yes. about because you said it was gonna be offset, right? Mm -hmm. Have whatever plumber mm -hmm. install a clean out afterwards. Okay. So that way there, if it ever does clog up on you, we can snake it and run water at the same time. Mm -hmm. I would have been able to do that, but I couldn't get this. There's a piece on here that yep. looks like you had your dishwasher going directly into originally before they installed the garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't get that off and I didn't want to take a chance on breaking anything. So um, that's what I would recommend is have them make sure they put a clean out in here for you. Mm -hmm. Here. So just so you know, fill up your sink to about here, then put in your trap, then turn on your disposal plug, mm -hmm. then pull the plug. That way there you get that nice big rush of water at the same time. Instead of just shut everything down. Right, right. And then um, recommendations, don't use hot water when you do it. Mm -hmm. Use cold, because hot water just makes grease. Even if you try to wipe it out with paper towel before, you always have that white film. Yeah. So the grease that's in the white film will rinse down there. So the cold water keeps it so. And then the when you use your garbage disposal and things like that, it keeps it in a chunk and it'll send it down to where it needs to go. Okay? You would even do it that much. Turn that on. Pull the plug. replace that washer under there for you because it's not it's not sealing the way that it's supposed to this this metal one here no matter what I see how it's like it moves I mean I can try and let me try and tighten it a little more but there was no Teflon tape or anything on it There's a washer there, but they'll be changing all this out when they put the new one in because they're gonna. Oh, what is that? Because they're, uh, it's it's gonna need to be done anyways, especially where they're moving the trap and all that stuff. So. and then um, get it all cleaned up. I'll come back in, write the slip up for you, and then I'll be out of here. All right, awesome. You want a check or um, a card? Um, if we do card, card will cost, card will be an extra 4%. Um, Alrighty, so second job down. 
headed to the third. Like I said, it's time for our helicopter today. Mondays are usually pretty busy. Um, customers really don't like to call on the weekends. They think that we're one of those companies that's going to charge like an astronomical price. Um, we don't. Uh, we do have a little bit of an upcharge for the weekend, but technically we're open on Saturdays, so it's not, it's not like it's, it's crazy. I mean, like I said, we do have a little bit of an upcharge. I try not to work Sundays, because Sundays are a good family day. Um, so, yeah, headed down to Tewksbury right now, and from Tewksbury we have to go to Haverhill, and then from Haverhill we get to go home. So Tewksbury is about a 24 minute drive from where I am right now. Um, and then, I don't know how far Haverhill is from Tewksbury, so we'll see how this adventure goes. I kind of want to listen to music, so this is where I'm going to leave you, and we'll pick up when I get to the next job. Okay? Love ya!